Song of Callicles on Etna. This is the last part of the original dramatic and philosophic poem Empedocles on Etna. Callicles is the speaker. Mount Etna is in Italy, Mount Helicon in Greece, where the nine muses dwell. Thisbe is the city in the valley by Helicon and near the water. Callicles seems to be telling Apollo that he is better off in Greece, not near Italy's spouting and flaming Mount Etna. Apollo and the nine muses appear near the Greek city of Thisbe. They praise the father and all else as they continue on to Olympus. The Song of Callicles on Etna through the black rushing smoke bursts, thick breaks the red flame, all Etna heaves fiercely her forest clothed frame. Not here, O Apollo, our haunts meet for thee, but where Helicon breaks down in the cliff to the sea, where the moon silvered inlets send far their light voice up the still vale of Thisbe, O speed and rejoice. On the sward at the cliff top lie strewn the white flocks. On the cliffside, the pigeons roost deep in the rocks. In the moonlight, the shepherds, soft lulled by the rills, lie wrapped in their blankets asleep on the hills. What forms are these coming so white through the gloom? What garments so glistening the gold-flowered broom? What sweet-breathing presence out perfumes the time? What voices enrapture the night's balmy prime? Tis Apollo comes leading his choir, the nine. The leader is fairest, but all are divine. They are lost in the hollows, they stream up again. What seeks on this mountain the glorified train? They bathe on this mountain in the spring by their road. Then on to Olympus, their endless abode. Whose praise do they mention? Of what is it told? What will be forever, what was from of old? First him they the father of all things, and then the rest of immortals, the action of men. The day in his hotness, the strife with the palm, the night in her silence, the stars in their calm.